goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, we're back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you, and today I am going to show you how to customize a piece of clothing for GTA 5 PC, alright? This is pretty much, um, we are going to um, add a design to a t-shirt for Franklin, alright? Now there's going to be a couple of requirements you're going to need, which is um, the main requirement we are going to need for this is Open 4. In order to install Open 4, we are going to need Scriptbook V and Scriptbook All right, so um, make sure that you have that installed. I will have links down in the description to videos showing you how to install Open 4 and also showing you how to install Scriptbook V and Scriptbook All right. So once we have that all straight, um, also make sure that you create a mods folder and you want to make sure that you have a mods folder created inside of your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. If you don't have a mods folder, just go ahead and create a folder, a new folder and name it mods. Okay, now let's open up our open four right here on my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it uh, new shirt i'm gonna call it new shirt all right now what we want to do is scroll down on the side column until we see x64 uh, v yeah x64 v okay we want to click on that one then um you will see you should see a red banner saying copy to mods folder all right you want to select copy to mods folder all right, once that has been copied to mods folder, uh, what we're going to do now is select models, then select CD images. And we're gonna scroll down to streamed pegs underscore players. All right, select that one right here. And since we are going to be choosing Franklin, we are going to select player underscore one folder. Once you open that one up, what we want to do is scroll down till we get to upper underscore zero zero four underscore u dot y d d. Okay, draw a bold dictionary. You want to take this one that I have highlighted right here. You want to take that, drag that to the folder that uh, we just created because we're gonna need to have a new folder created to drag our files into, okay? All right, since um, we have that one right there, let's go ahead and scroll all the way down. So we get to right here upper underscore diff underscore zero zero four underscore a underscore u n i dot y t d this is a texture dictionary okay this is what we need right here all right so let's we could go ahead and um, drag this over here all right we'll just save these two files right here Let's go ahead and create a uh, new folder inside. I like to name this textures. Okay. Creating a new folder inside of our shirt folder and I named it textures. Let's open up that folder. Now I'm going to go back to open four and I'm going to uh, select the uh, upper diff a 004 a and also just to let you know that um, four that is the t-shirt okay and um, as you can see there's a through p all right so there's this whole thing right here in between from a to p all these are different colors of that shirt okay if you uh select a a is the white if you select 4b b is the black okay 
if you select 4C then that's gray and if you keep going on down the P you will see the different colors okay so feel free to pick any color t-shirt also I should have mentioned that earlier but feel free to pick any color t-shirt you want to use since um, I picked A for the tutorial we're gonna go ahead and click on A and once you get here what you want to do is select the picture and then you want to select export selected okay because we're going to export that image once you select export selected it is going to um, ask you where do you want to save it at we want to save it in our new folder that we made called new shirt which is in our desktop all right, and it's right here, new shirt. Then I'm gonna click on textures, the new folder I made called textures. I'm gonna open up that folder. And then I'm gonna scroll down to save as type. And we wanna click on DDS file into a drop down menu opens up. And we wanna select PNG image, okay? So you wanna save this type as a PNG image, okay? Make sure you change it from DDS to PNG image, okay? Once you have it on PNG image, click save. And if you look over here, inside here, let me switch the view. You will see the shirt image saved over here in PNG format, okay? Once we have that done, we can go ahead and exit out of that right there. Now, what we want to do is find ourselves an image, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it two ways, um, how to add an image to it, and also how to add words to it, okay? So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just Google a random image, Spongebob. Uh, this what we want to do is Google an image uh, whatever image name that we are googling or searching for we want to add PNG at the end okay PNG is like a transparent image okay once you get done googling that click on images and you should have a lot of images that are transparent there will be a lot of them that uh, will have checkerboards behind it and if you try to drag and drop it from the search you open up the picture it will still have the checkerboard behind it we do not want that okay we don't want anything behind it no background okay so if we um, keep searching you could click on this one and you might have to go to the website where they have it at and see if they have uh, some free downloads for you all right, like this website I just clicked on, they have uh, SpongeBob PNG images. Now uh, I can just pick the one that I want. I'm just going to go ahead and select it. you can use that as well but what I like using is fo fo photopia photopia yeah this is what I like using right here I would definitely um, leave a link down in the description to the website um, it's free to use so um, once you get to this website click on file and then click on open now you want to open up um, you want to open up that uh, folder 
that we created earlier with the shirts and uh, the images into it which is on the desktop and I believe that is a new shirt folder and then select textures folder wherever you want to put it at feel free to save it wherever now I'm gonna select sponge well I, actually we have to select the shirt and we can select spongebob at the same time all right so I'm gonna select two images our shirt and spongebob the image all right and we will have two tabs the first one is going to be our shirt the second one is going to be our image all right now if we um, go ahead and click on the image we can move the image around now let's click on the image and bring it up towards the first tab and you will see if you keep holding if you uh, continue to keep holding onto the mouse with the image you will drag the image from the other tab to the uh, t-shirt tab okay once you get done you can drag and drop and he will be right there and we could go ahead and select edit and then uh, select uh, free transform that allows us to go ahead and adjust the size of SpongeBob Right. You don't want them too big, but um, it's all on you how big you want them. Okay. I'm going to have them about this big. And just give you a quick run through um, on the t shirt template. This will be the front of the t shirt right here. This will be the front, and on the left side will be the back. Okay. Um, these are the arms right here where you see the skin will be the arms and right above the arms will be the shoulders okay I'm not sure which one is right or left but we are going to tag those uh, with R and L before we um, install this t-shirt and turn on the game and we are going to find out together which one of these shoulders is right and left but for the shirt part for the front and back the right side where SpongeBob is at is the front, and on the left hand side, this is the back. Okay, so we added an image right here. Um, we, you know, we uh, moved it where we wanted to. Right now, that it has placed where uh, we want it to be placed at. You can go ahead and add a text with uh, the tools that they have here in this program, but I like to use a different program. I like to use my uh, Paint 3D. This is actually a program that um, came with uh, Windows 10. So what I'm gonna do is open up Paint 3D. I'm gonna go ahead to go to text. And I'm gonna select a font. And we can just pick this one right here. We don't need it too big neither. Um, black will be okay for the color. And we just want to put anything that you want to. I'm going to put SpongeBob. All right. Once we have that all done right there, I could go ahead, click Canvas, Transparent Canvas, and now I could save it. Save. And I'm going to put that inside of my new shirt and textures. All right, put that in there. Now that that has been created and saved, I can exit out of that. Go back to Fruitopia and click File, Open, open up a SpongeBob name that we just created, and it is transparent. Oops, it is transparent. So I just click on the image, move the image up to the first tab, and pull the image down and release. And we got SpongeBob's name. Now that we have it inside here, we can double click on it. Just like, uh, it has the same functions like um, in Photoshop, where we could add uh, gradient, stroke, satin, color overlay, you know, things of that bevel. Um, what I'm gonna do is add a color overlay to it Make it yellow, and then I'm gonna add a stroke to it. And uh, make that black, there we go. Now it looks just about good, I get enough stroke right there. Um, do want to bevel a little bit? Could adjust it, no, I, I like it just like that. 
go to click image free transform and get that a little bit smaller there we go all right now if you're all done adding images or words to uh your template right here what we want to do next is um, let's open up our t-shirt go back to our t-shirt folder which is right here let's click on new shirt now what we uh what i like to do is just make a new folder and name it remade so this lets me know that these are the remade um textures right here the remade images okay so once you have that all done um, and you're done editing your t-shirt and adding stuff on it go ahead and save it export it you want to export it as png and you want to leave the width and the height at the same you don't want to change nothing here you just want to click save and we want to save it to our new folder that we just created all right that's a new shirt and it's called remade I'm gonna save it right there and keep the same file name do not change the file name okay once that's all done right there you go and minimize this window right here and bring back up open four and we should still be at the same place we were at now since this is saved to our mods folder let's go ahead and make sure that edit mode is on right here definitely make sure edit mode is on it should be highlighted blue now what we want to do is open up uh, this file upper diff 004 a uni dot ytd the texture dictionary all right open up this file right here and this is the same file where we exported the template from what we're going to do now is replace this template with our new one okay now it's always good to remember the MIP maps, all right, before you replace any shirt or any clothing. Always remember the MIP maps in um, this right here, okay, uh, DXT1, okay. Um, if you click on properties, it will open up this, uh, this white banner right here and it will have MIP maps levels and if you click down on it they will have uh, 1 through 9 MIP maps okay and if you click on pixel format there will be uh, different options for the pixel format okay so we want to make sure that after we replace the image that it still matches the same MIP map levels and pixel format okay cancel out of that now let's click on replace but always remember what these are on. This one is on DXT1, MIP maps 9. All right. Let's click on replace. Go to our remade folder. And click on our remade image and click open. And right away, you should see the new image right here. Okay. And it looks like when we replaced it, nothing changed down here. It still says DXT1 and MIP maps 9. Okay, so make sure it says the same. After everything is all done, you want to go down to the corner and click save. All right, once that has been clicked right there, we could scroll up now and go to our drawable dictionary and find upper 004u.ydd. Okay. I'm going to click on that image now. And you will see your image right here. Okay. This is uh, the front part that we did. Uh, we didn't add nothing on the back. As I told you, the back was the left side of the template. And we only added on to the front. Okay. Now, after um, that has been um, added right there, if you want to save it and save that file, what you want to do is scroll back down the list till you get to Texture Dictionary, and you want to select Upper Diff 004AUNY. All right, you want to select that one. Let's open up that one just to make sure. Yep, this is ours. And we can go back to our T-shirt folder. Click T-shirt. 
and we are going to replace this YTD file with um, uh, actually we could go ahead and um, this I, I like to make a couple of new folders just to make sure I don't um, mix anything up and what I do is make a new folder name original okay so I'm going to take the original files that we did earlier and I will go ahead and just copy those and drag a copy of those into the original folder okay that way I have the original if I wanted to use that template again and um, I could go ahead and use um, the blank template again and add whatever images I want to it okay so from right here we could go in to open four and drag and drop that texture dictionary the upper diff 004a uni you know drag and drop that right here and just copy and replace the one that we have earlier now if we click on the upper diff 004a uni inside of our t-shirt folder you will see that we will have the same design and it's right there okay now the only way that we can import our image to the um, texture dictionary is by um, having the file in open for already okay we won't be able to um, we won't be able to import the image to the file outside of open for the file will have to be inside open for you will have to open up that folder first and then click on replace in order to import an image to a file inside open for okay now once that's all done we can go ahead and close all archives close open for minimizing the windows that we have and run the game all right when we load in the game we are going to need a trainer or mod menu i'm going to be using simple trainer go ahead to uh model spotting scroll down till you see close menu and um let me take off my vest all right and let's go to upper now we want to go down to the t-shirts which i believe is number four or five actually and there we go i got my shirt right here um let me remove my chains so you can see it um what am i chains with that one there we go all right folks there we go we got it right here let me see if i can get a better view and there we go folks we got our spongebob shirt right there that we just created um everything looks pretty good image wise um doesn't look stretched out or anything like that and uh yeah that's pretty much how you access it y'all so um, if this um, tutorial helped y'all, you know what I mean, to uh, um, understand how to uh, make your own t-shirts or clothes, um, the same type of process could go for pants if you wanted to add images to pants or to hats, for example. Um, you just want to follow kind of like the same procedure that I showed earlier. But um, if this helps y'all out, smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5. This is Games and Graphics, me and Big Ball and Ass Frank. We are out of here till next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.